We're going to look at two-digit subtraction. Now I'm sure you'll remember from your school days something that looked like this and you would have kind of worked on, oh, you know, th uh, three subtract eight, you can't do that, so you must go and borrow one from the four. And this is fine and at some point we will want our learners to be able to do subtraction like this. But if we simply start by telling him this is how you do it, you know, three subtract eight can't do, borrow one from the four, they will not understand at all what they're doing and therefore that knowledge will be very fragile and also not particularly useful to them going forward. So what we want to do is build slowly towards this abstract way of doing it so that they actually build up an understanding of how and why it works like that. So we're going to go through that process we've been talking about over and over, which is we'll start with the concrete, then move to the pictorial, and once learners are comfortable with that, we'll start to introduce the abstract way of doing it. For the concrete process, we're going to be using the filled 10 frames and counters, and learners are actually going to physically move those about in order to do the subtractions. As they get more comfortable with that, we're going to start to do a pictorial representation of that alongside it and then slowly start to add in the abstract representation too. But there is no point in rushing this process. Um, let learners get completely comfortable at each stage so that they really develop a good understanding that will allow them to use the skill well. So let's look at an example. If we want learners to do 57 subtract 23, the first step is they need to be able to pull out the representation of 57. So they need to understand that 57 is made up of seven ones, which are the seven counters they have there, and the 50, they need to have five tens for that. So they need to pick up five of the ten cards. So that's their first step. Then they need to take away 23 of these. And again, they need to understand that 23 is made up of three ones and two tens. So they're going to take away the three ones. And they're going to take away the two tens. And so be able to see that their answer is 34. Once learners are happy with the concrete representation, and hopefully that will be quite quick for them um, with these kind of easy subtractions, one can make the link to a more pictorial form, um, and often quite useful for you to be doing the pictorial form alongside while they're doing the concrete form, so, and then they can transition into doing the pictorial form. So the pictorial form will literally be uh, if we're going to do 57 minus 23, they're going to draw the 57. So 57 is five tens, and you'll just draw five little rectangles to represent the five ten frames. And then the seven will just be seven circles to represent the seven ones. And then if you need to take away 23, it's taking away three ones and two tens for the taking away the 20 of the 23 and so they should be able to see that what they are left with is three tens and four ones and so their answer is 34. If we want to do a calculation like 45 subtract 27 this is a bit more of a complicated subtraction so let's go back to working with our concrete material. So we need to lay out 45 which we know is four tens and five ones. We now need to take away 27. So we need to take away two tens and seven ones. Let's start with the ones and we need to take away seven ones. But there are only five ones there. So we can't take away seven ones. So what we need to do, and this is the important bit, we need to use the fact that we can exchange a 10 frame for 10 ones. So we can exchange that 10 frame for 10 counters because they're exactly the same value. Now we can take away 7 ones. 
we can take away those five and two more. So we've taken away seven ones and we're left with eight ones. We then need to take away the two tens and we see that we are left with one ten and eight ones, which is 18. Once our learners have worked a bit with the concrete, we're going to start moving them towards the pictorial. And it's quite useful if you do, do, do some of the pictorial alongside them working with the concrete so they can see the link as they move. So, if we want to do 45 subtract 27, we need to first start by representing the 45. So what I need to do is 45 is four tens, so I'm going to draw four quick rough rectangles to il illustrate four tens like the four ten frames that we had in the concrete representation. And then for the ones, I'm going to draw five circles to represent the five counters like we had in the physical representation. Now I need to take away two tens and seven ones. But I only have five ones here, so I can't take seven of them away. So what I need to do is exchange one of the tens for ten ones. So I'm going to be left with three tens, but this ten over here, I'm going to exchange for ten ones. And then I'll have still the five ones I had originally. Now I can go ahead and take away seven ones. So I take five ones and then another two ones and I can see that what I'm left with is eight ones. I then need to take away two of the tens and what I'm left with overall is one ten and eight ones and so I know that my answer is 18.